So the COVID-19B02 trial is a phase two trial uh, for um, adult um, relapse refractory AOL patients. So um, the, the phase one trial, we, we tested a conventional dose of one million cells per kilo of R1 cells. And those outcomes were, um, were uh, analyzed by the Spanish Medicines Agency, which led them to give this authorization of uh, hospital exemption to treat patients with um, relapsed refractory AOL of 25 years of um, older. But what we want to do with this phase two trial, we want to raise the dose from the, the prior 1 million cells car, um, per kilo to 3 million cells per kilo in this multicenter phase two trial. So we were planning to, to treat 32 patients. The enrollment started uh, the past year, and we're hoping to, to finish the enrollment um, by this summer. So what we want to see with this, with this phase two trial is to, to confirm if, if it is feasible to raise the dose, uh, to significantly increase the dose from one to three million cartilages per kilo in a safe way by um, continue to fractionate the dose. Not, we are not giving all the dose by one in, in one day. We, we give it in four consecutive days and the patient will receive every dose if he remains without signs or symptoms of CRS. And what we also want to see, if it's not only safe, but we also want to see if we can increase not the response rate, because with the 1 million cartilage cell per kilo, we, we have seen an 85% of complete remissions, which is really high, but we want to see if we can increase the proportion of long-term uh, responders. So we want to increase the proportion of patients that do remain in complete remission at the first year and the um, year number five. So we will try to um, complete the recruitment by this year. And we do hope that we have uh, news regarding the outcomes in the next year.